Hi and welcome back to the next lesson and the beginning of section 2. So in section 2 we're going to move on and we're going to build the next page in our risk management dashboard and this page is going to be dedicated to showing the or displaying a picture of the risk pre and post mitigation. So just as a recap we we'll cover this concept of pre mitigation and post mitigation and we looked at an example that we've got it was work orders but it could be other other records or, or other events but we've got the concept that there's a risk right up front right at the start when we identify this issue or this risk uh, we identify the risk using the likelihood and severity and that is called the pre-mitigation so this one here is for likely and for the likelihood and for significant for the consequence severity now the, 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 you can assign different different industries and different um, circumstances will uh, assign some maybe some dates or some um, some metrics to what is very unlikely versus very likely and it's important you understand that um, but for this example here it's a five by five matrix and, and that's how it is uh, right okay so we've done that the next thing we do is we consider if we can put some mitigating steps in place now if you can then we carry out a post mitigation risk assessment and that then drives it to hopefully a lower likelihood and also potentially a lower severity. So in this one here, the likelihood has gone from likely to very unlikely because we've carried out some sort of mitigating action. So we want to be able to see how much of the work orders we've got have been subject to mitigation and how much has our risk been reduced by that mitigation on an individual basis for each of the these squares here, these risk ranking squares, and also for the groups as a whole. So the red, the yellow and the green groups as a whole. Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to create a new page and we're going to go and name this page Mitigation Analysis Mitigation Analysis So we're going to just going to copy the, the first um, the, the header from the first page we just copy that we're just going to just set the scene make sure we've got the page set up nicely we'll just paste that in here and we're going to go and call this mitigation analysis and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the risk matrix and i think we'll get it from this other page here it doesn't really make too much difference where we copy it from we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it in here now that's going to be our post mitigation but we also need the pre mitigation so i'm going to paste it in again and what we're going to do is we're going to actually replace the category. So rather than be, put, we're still going to count the number of work orders. So we can still use this measure here. Uh, but instead of using post mitigation, we're going to use pre mitigation as a category. So let's put it in here. And we can see that now it's changed. So where we have got 18 sitting in this area here, I'm just going to switch off this um, tool, tool tips actually for just now because they're just starting to. Um, be a bit intrusive so we'll click on there and actually it looks like you can't switch off the tooltips let's search here toolbar keep visible zoom visual level no you, you can't switch off oh well okay we'll just have to live with it for just now so we've got uh, the, yeah so the, here we've got 18 and for five and three being the severity and the likelihood and here we've got one okay so you can see there's a definite reduction here now if i click on these 18 what it's going to do is it's going to show me where they've gone okay so it's going to show us that that 18 once stayed still it's not moved seven has gone into this um possibility of seven ten thirteen have had the likelihood reduced uh, once the likelihood and the consequence reduced to, you know, so you can tell the picture, you can see exactly what's happened with each one of these as we've gone through. And if we click on four, you should be able to see it for four as well. Let's just calculate that for just now. You can see this little cog spinning here. There we go, four. So again, another picture, you can see exactly what's happened with these. So that's the first thing we need to do. Now, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to create 
groupings for each one of these so that we can see the picture not only from a, an overall risk matrix point of view but from a grouping point of view and we'll cover that in the next lesson